Hey, so today I was going to do a video about putting lights in my case, specifically RGB LED lights. And for those that don't know, an RGB LED light is a light that kind of acts like a computer pixel. You can set different red, green, blue values to it, and you can get all the different colors. So if you want it to be red or yellow or white, the RGB LED will support that uh, by having essentially three separate components or three separate color components squished really close together like a pixel. Now, unfortunately, I can't do that video today because I got that LED strip and it uh, didn't turn out quite what I expected. So uh, let's take a look. All right, so here we have the RGB, oops, we have the RGB strip. Uh, it's pretty standard for those who haven't seen these RGB light strips before. You have white, which is the plus positive 12 voltage, and then it's common, so it's common anode. So you have a green cathode, red cathode, and blue cathode, and the colors match up. So all well and good. So when we light this up, so the way I have it set up right now actually is that I have no resistance on any of the cathodes and no resistance on the anode. So we should get a bright white light. But if we hook it up, let's see what happens. And there we go. We have our RGB lights. Yes, that's right. They are literally red, green, and blue LEDs. Now, truth be told, this actually will produce kind of a white light when all combined with some interesting shadows. So it's not a complete loss. And Christmas is coming up, so I can't complain too much. I'm sure there's a lot that can be done with this, but it's just, I do not want this in my computer case. And to make matters even worse, if you look very carefully, you can see that the green light is labeled with a B for blue. The red light is labeled with a G for green. And the blue light is labeled with an R for red. Of course, why not? And yes, the lettering is also that messed up on the end connector. So this B should be, I believe, let's see, it's the same here. So B should be green, uh, G should be red, and R should be blue, or B. And yeah, as you can see here, completely messed up. And here is the green LED under the microscope, and you can see the letter B next to it. So the worst part about this whole experience is that I had to wait a month for those LEDs to arrive from China. And they came and yeah, not exactly what I expected. And then definitely not going in my computer case. So I'm not doing the whole video where I get it all set up with the microcontroller and make a really cool little system. Oh well, anyway, thank you for watching and I will keep you updated in the coming months.